And welcome to Sexy Tarot. Sagittarius, this will be your edition of Sexy Heads the Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Sagittarius, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Sagittarius, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find that energy resonates more with the cross watcher, Feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Sagittarius, as I'm progressing through the reading and you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the about page in my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted by way of a cash app link or donations link, which you can find in the description box below. Sagittarius, there will be an extended to this reading. All members get access to all extended readings and exclusive bonus content. If you are not a member, you can still view the extended reading on my Gumroad account. That link is also in the description box below. The cost for the extended reading is $5. With that being said, Sagittarius, let me get you the scoop. The first thing I'm going to do is pull you a spiritual as fuck card to see what energies we are focusing on for today and what energies are approaching you, Sagittarius. Spirit, what message do you have for Sagittarius in your highest good? That's too many, so I'm going to take the one that flipped over. So, this general reading is aimed at your highest good. And the message that you most need to hear at this time. Sagittarius, sometimes crushing it means asking for help. Sometimes crushing it means asking for help. Okay, fools or suckers think they can do it all on their own. Ask for help. Then take the help. Let other people be a part of your success. Don't be stingy about letting people share in whatever kick-assery you create. Even real ballers have a crew. Also, you don't know everything. That's just a fact. So Sagittarius, is something that you need help with at this time. And as you can see, it say only fools or suckers think they can do it all on their own. Ask for help. Then take the help. Let other, pe other people be a part of your success. Don't be stingy about letting people share in whatever kick-assery you create. Every real baller has a crew. Also, you don't know everything. That's just a fact. So Sagittarius Spirit is saying that right now you need help. And you need to ask for that help. All right? So let's see what messages they have for you. In the extended, I'm going to get very specific into these messages, tell you what it's exactly pertaining to. I'm going to tell you what actions someone's taking towards you or what actions you need to take or not take. I'm going to put some tarot on this energy and give you some advice in the extended. But right now, let's see what energies are approaching you. Spirit has something to tell you. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Sagittarius at this time? What does Sagittarius need to know for their highest good? You have the five of pentacles. So you feel like you, um, you, you're in a lack place of lack. Maybe you lost some money, you lost a relationship, you can't get something started, you feel like you're at a stalemate, you're lacking confidence. I can clearly see you need help. So the energies I have out here so far are the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. You have the Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, you have the tower. So there is something changing in your life. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. 
You have the Queen of Cups. That's Cancerian energy. You have the Page of Wands. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And you have the Fool. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. I like the fact that you have three of the elements on the board. You have the pentacles, you have the cups, and you have the wands. What you're lacking is the logic. Just being honest, the swords. So Sagittarius, I see that you feel like you lost something or you're at a financial, you, you're experiencing some financial situation. You're not happy with your situation as it is. You're, you're, you feel complacent. You feel like you just stuck in place, okay? You're not happy with the way things are going. And this is what you're searching your emotions about, Sagittarius. I feel like that um, there is something you truly want to get off the ground, but it's moving very slow. I feel like um, once you discover your confidence and you have the faith and the understanding that whatever information is coming into you, the sudden revelation is basically to give you a new leash on life. But it all centers around your confidence. I feel like that emotionally you, you feel unfulfilled, okay? And again, this is also surrounding the confidence within you. Sagittarius, I feel like that something is moving so slow or you feel like something came to a halt and you're unhappy with this and you, you're looking for a jump start. You're looking for something to kick in, you know, something that can be life-changing for you. All right, so again, I feel like this is all centered around something you want to get off the ground, you get, you want to get started, and you need help. But logically, and that's the swords are not on the table, there are no blue cards. Logically, you need to think about this. I mean, you have the passion, you have the emotion, and you're even willing to put the time in. But you need to think about having a conversation with your swords to ask for help. Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck, the reason for your reading, here's the source, the four swords. So you're thinking about it right now. Right now, you're thinking about this. You're getting insights. You know, um, so in your quiet time, you are getting some insights. You know, um, some of you need to rest a bit. Here's the five of swords, but you're self-sabotaging. It's like, you're going from the five to the four when you should be going from the four to the five to the six. So it's like you self-sabotage because you're not having the conversations. You're self-sabotaging because you're just thinking about it. It's like something you need to get off your chest about something that's not working for you. And you have the king of cups. Okay, this is Scorpio's energy. You're hiding all of these feelings. You have all these feelings deep down inside that you're not letting out. And that's what's sabotaging the situation. You need to have a conversation. And this conversation is involving you asking for, for some help. Sagittarius, you have the five of pentacles. Okay. So this is you feeling like, you know, um, you going through something by yourself right now. You're going through these challenges alone, but you have help nearby. The card reads at the bottom, you shouldn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. And that's why I said it's involving your perspective. Spirit is saying that you need to ask for help. Sometimes crushing it means asking for help. So first card out is strongest. This is definitely about you asking for some financial help, some sort of um, emotion. I don't feel like it's emotional help. This is financial help or help with um, time management. This is dealing with practical things like money, time, you know, things that um, affect your stability. Why is the five of pentacles here for Sagittarius spirit? Please and thank you. Why is the five of pentacles here for Sagittarius?
For a lot of you, this is involving your money. At the bottom of the deck, you have perseverance. You have success in adversity. So you are facing some challenges right now. And these challenges you feel like are um, limiting, limit, limiting you. You feel like these challenges are preventing you from getting to this success. When actually you need to persevere. You need to have um, continuity. You need to um, become disciplined, focused. Like, put your, you can put your mind to whatever this is. This also may be involved with someone you love. But Spirit is saying these set of challenges, these adversities should not be limiting you from your success. success. That you can get through this. You can persevere through this. And you need help, right? But it's the way you thinking, you're coming from a place of lack in your thought process. And if you discipline your thoughts, you can accomplish whatever you set your mind to. And this is why I was feeling um, in the beginning your self-confidence. I feel like that Sagittarius um, right now. Um, you need to go deep within, find your self-confidence, find that courage to change your perspective about what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And if you, and that's why the, the swords are missing, if you align your head and your heart, meaning those swords and those cups, and then put the passion, those wands behind it, Voila, watch you manifest like a mother lover. Tell me about this five of pentacles and discipline for Sagittarius spirit, please, and thank you. Why is the five of pentacles and discipline here? At the bottom of the deck, you have determination that's that perseverance right ghost but you feel like right now you don't have the strength you feel like that you don't have the determination and with mystery some of you are done with a pisces it's like well where am i going to get this strength from sexy how am i going to pursue something where i feel so tired then you have to get proper rest you have to get proper rest and allow yourself that Space to relax your mind, your body, your spirit, so that you can think properly and ask for this help that you need. Sagittarius, here's the space right here. Some of you need to protect your space, okay? Because it's like, you're allowing other people to occupy your space or you're allowing other people to be in your space that are constantly taken from you. And you need to discipline that whole situation. Sagittarius, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Peace and Consciousness. And once you um, clear your energy, clear your space of those that do not belong, then you will be able to sit still with this Knight of Pentacles because you realize you have a lot to do. This space and this time will allow you to make a detailed plan, this stillness, okay? And this detailed plan is um, going to, there's someone that is willing to help you. They're very kind. They'll oversee this plan for you, okay? And once you release all this negative energy, this is when awareness will come in with consciousness. You just need the this, this space to create too many people tugging at you. This is when you will have the awareness and be able to create whatever it is you need to create. This is when you'll be able to come into the space and make that detailed plan of I need to accomplish this, 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 in whatever time frame that you deem appropriate for yourself. 
Sagittarius, you have the Queen of Wands. Some of you are dealing with an Aries and relationship. There's something you want to do in a relationship right now. But it's not an equal give and take. You're doing more. Someone is doing more in this relationship than the other. This could be a familial relationship, a romantic relationship. It could be a, a work relationship, right? But there's someone who's doing more to please somebody than the other. And right now it's for you to attract people that's going to help you, not keep taking from you. Because this is not an equal give and take. Some, some of you are done with a Libra or an Aries. Sagittarius with this Four of Cups, it's like you feel bored. You're not happy with your options. It's like you want to seek out other possibilities in relation to your abundance. You want to be comfortable. But right now you have this um, feeling of complacency. Like, is this going to be my life every day? I feel like you're bored with the humdrum run of the mill. And you need to seek out other alternatives in relation to your abundance in order for you to... Receive the fulfillment that you so desire within. And again, I can't help but to revert back to earlier when I said part of it is part of your perception. Sagittarius, which is nine of cups. It's like you have these desires, you have these wishes, but with indecision, you don't even really kind of know what it is you want. And this is not an attack. You may be indecisive as to how to go about what it is that you want. You're like, well, sexy, I know what I want. It's not that I'm indecisive about what I want. I'm indecisive as to how to get what I want. Well, I'm telling you, it's all involving your confidence. Period, point blank. So if you know what you want, because I heard in my head, you know what you want. You just don't know how to get or obtain what it is you want. Nothing is unobtainable or unachievable. It's all involving your confidence. Sagittarius, you have the tower would change your life. And there was a sudden revelation that offered you freedom. Um, you were supposed to break free of procrastination, putting things on a back burner. You were supposed to embrace the things that life was offering you. Something fell down. Something was revealed to you. And you denied this change out of fear. You denied this change out of fear. And this is why you were becoming frustrated. Because you were supposed to let this tower fall. You were supposed to let this breakthrough happen. You were supposed to embrace this crumbling for a new opportunity. But you said, no, I'm, I'm scared. I don't want this to go away or fall apart. I don't want to believe what's being revealed to me. And thus you looped yourself into a state of frustration. And now you have to ask for help. Sagittarius with this Queen of Cups energy. Uh, some of you are done with a cancer. But you need to search your emotions. Follow your heart. You know, um, there's somebody around you who's jealous of what you have. They're jealous of the love that you have around you. And I really need you to bring your attention to this. Okay? You need to listen to your intuition and search your emotions and recognize those people that don't mean you any good. You know these people up here I was telling you you need space from that's making you putting you uh, or contributing to your feelings of a lack mentality. Remember I said you need this space up here? Okay, because there's someone in your energy um, that's jealous of you. All right, they're jealous of you. Um, they're jealous of the love that you have. They're jealous of your insight, all right? And this is a red flag with caution. And Sagittarius, I'm also being told to caution you as to not be jealous of the love or things other people have because here you're unhappy. Emotionally, you're unsatisfied here. 
And spirit is also cautioning you that what is for you is for you. There is no magic pill. This work must be start and come from within you. I feel like there's someone you love. I feel like there's someone that's specific that you want around you. I feel like there's someone specifically you want to help you. But Sagittarius, whoever this is, they got their own set of challenges. Okay, so you need to follow your heart in relation to your home and your family. There's someone that's giving you trustworthy psychic information. For all I know is me. I don't know. But you have your own intuition. Sagittarius with this page of wands, you know, spirit wants you to be energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. They want you to follow your passions. It's like you're ready for any challenge. You have all the tools you need. Opportunities for excitement and adventure are facing you. But do you have the courage to go after these first starts? Do you have the courage to go after these opportunities? I promise you they're going to bring you peace. Do what it is you want to do that makes you happy happy that will allow you to have peace of mind and i promise you that boredom that discontent that unfulfilling that unfulfilled feeling you have within you it will go away sagittarius you have this leap of faith and self-esteem all this is about your self-worth your confidence you know your go get them attitude there's a new beginning here that you can take the leap of faith towards and all the a lot of cards have angels i feel like there's a lot of angels watching over you all you have to do is listen to your heart believe in yourself and do what gives you joy and you will find your self-esteem just like um increasing the energy is going to gain, gain momentum sagittarius sagittarius i feel like right now you looking to be in a comfortable space and something is triggering you in your space where you're supposed to be comfortable sagittarius i feel like that right now that you are aware that your confidence is taking a blow and you're at peace with that i also feel like sagittarius you know that something's not an equal give and take and it's frustrating you and you want so much for it to work sagittarius i feel like you need to clear your space clear your energy and i think you need to uh process these red flags or whatever's cautioning you or um bringing your attention to whatever this is that's not working i feel like you need to work with someone tell them you need help like look you got to do your part Sagittarius, I feel like you know what it takes to make you comfortable. I feel like you know what it takes for you to have peace. But there's something frustrating you and you need somebody else to do their damn part to pitch in and give you the help you need because you are not a one man, one woman show. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. If you will meet me in the extended, I'm going to get specific and dive deeper into these energies and give you some advice. If this is where we part, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. This has been your edition of Sexy Hair as a Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Sagittarius, if you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. Peace, Sagittarius. Are clueless. So better watch your mouth because she really do this. And no need to speak because.